guys. Right, so today I'm really excited. We're at the Kennedy Space Centre in Cape Canaveral. She's been looking forward to this for yeah, a while now. This is like, you were excited for Rise of the Resistance in yeah, yeah, yeah. Galaxy's Edge and I'm excited for NASA Kennedy Space Centre. So we were actually really lucky the second night we were here in Orlando. Oh yeah. Um, we'd literally, I think we'd been at like Universal Studios and we went yeah. back to the hotel and I was like, oh, mm. um, one of the SpaceX, uh, the Crew 3 mission is launching like today. And um, we got in and I was literally like, oh, it's like launching in a few minutes. I wonder, we were stopping on International Drive. I wonder if we'll see it from yeah. like the, the room. So we literally went out and we got, we'll insert some pictures because we grabbed the camera quick. So we were actually really lucky. We yeah, got to we see could like see, a, a manned with human space <laughs> rocket takeoff launch. So that was really amazing. But yeah, we've never been before, have no, we? No, no, really uh, looking forward to this. We've just booked um, the buzz because there's a shuttle tour in there. Yeah. The, some of the launch pads and things. Uh, you can do that online with a QR code. So we've just done that. So we've got that booked for about half an hour's time. Yeah. So we're, we've just, we've just got go check in really excited but we, we have been to the <clears throat> NASA Space Center in Houston before a couple of years ago yeah. so that was really good but it's just exciting to see where all like the you know the like, launches, the launches take, take off. place yeah 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 because yeah. Yeah, so, we saw Houston uh what's it called where all the people sit the control room control yeah, room control you know room. like Houston we have a problem we saw all that and yeah that was cool so it'd be interesting to see where they actually take off from we've seen where they talk to them it'll be interesting to see where they take off now yeah so let's get going so we're just uh, in now we've just scanned his tickets and we were just looking at the map and you can't believe how much stuff there is to do there's like a 3d imax 40 minute simulators. movie the simulators there's extra things what you can pay for but i mean like look at all these old rockets and stacy said as well on the map they're building a new visitors part as well for just a new attraction for, for, for next year yeah and that looks huge on the map as well this is the Rocket Garden. Didn't realise it was called that. They do a guided tour as well every so often. I think it's 15 minutes or you can just look around yourself. But I mean, like, these aren't even like that big, really, for today's standard, but these are huge. I think we will definitely be making a stop at the uh, Milky Way ice cream shop later. Get some astronaut ice cream maybe. And oh, it'll be the astronaut ice cream. I'm, I'm guessing yeah. so. It might be normal ice cream as well. Oh, wonder if they mix them. Maybe, have a bit of both. I already know that today is going to cost a lot of money. Considering it's the world's largest, I think Stacy's going to go a bit, a bit crazy today. Let's have a quick look before okay. the buzz. I'm always focused on sharing this pioneering spirit with others. Oh, look at these little little dog bandanas. Oh, some dog bowls. Yeah, if that, that'd be cute if they were dogs, not cats. Oh, there we go. They do a dog one. Oh, that is cute. There's a can you space center mugs four ninety nine. Oh, I like that one. I'm guessing the I need my space. space. I'm guessing they say 9.99 is like half price or something. Yeah. Oh, so they've got one that's the similar shape to the, the Starbucks mugs. So if you collect them, that'd be a better one. I think we'll end up getting that one because it matches with all the Starbucks ones we get. Look at that one. Oh, a little booty. It's a little space boot. So how much is like a termisy kind of one? It's like hot and so cold. They're like 30. So like same price 30. as like the Starbucks ones, really. Yeah. There's that the one. One's of... Oh, that one's 25. That's nice. Oh, the handle. Yeah. That one's. I like that one. Oh, it's like a space kind of suit. Yeah. One. Uh, oh. 35. Oh, that's bigger though. Yeah. That I seems... like the detail on yeah. that one though. So you can get a big meatball. That is a big meat. That'll have to go on a suitcase or something. That's 12. Oh, yeah, it'd be really good put on like the foot of your suitcase. Yeah. yeah, we do need something like that because we're yeah. missing the emblem off one of them. <laughs> so, oh, you can get uh, coins. 
Yeah, seven dollars. That one's like a challenger one. Oh, that's a discovery one. They're not badly priced, really. The coins, seven dollars. That's like twelve hundred dollars. Wow. Are they pins? Yeah, yeah, they look like collectible pins. Celebrating the space shuttle program. Right, jeez. Wow. Are these stickers? I think they might, yeah. Oh no, they're postcards. That's $6. Nothing seems overly expensive, really. Well, I know that was $1,200, but... <laughs> apart, apart from that, too. Apart from that, yeah. This one's, this t-shirt's $30. Uh, I'm just trying to give people a rough price. That one's $19.99. Hats are 24. The hat's, the hat's nice though, like a trucker hat. Uh, what else have we got? Socks. $20 for one pair of socks. That's, I don't get the thing with socks and why they're so expensive. The baseball kind of hats, that's with the worm logo on, that one is. 40. It's got a clearance rail. I like that one, that's like 1288. Face of space. Oh, that's nice. So this will be rummaging through this later, I guess, for an hour. So we've just seen this. This one seems really good value. So you get this NASA hoodie that says Kennedy Space Center on it. And then you also get a NASA Kennedy Space Center t shirt. It's like in a little two pack. And it's only $40. That seems really cheap. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah. Have they got holes in them? Are these are they seconds I know, or something? Yeah, what's going on? And then, just last, these like key rings, kind of the space ones. That's ten dollars. Oh, that one's cool. Love you to the moon and back. That's ten dollars. So that's just a rough price. Oh, you love me to the moon and back. Yeah, yes. oh, you can have a key ring. Oh, okay. We'll finish with Christmas decorations. Oh, is that it? Yeah. Yeah, nothing. Seems like really, he'd probably break an hour cake. Yeah, I don't think anything's overpriced really. That's like a. a I think like obviously, um, if you just want like the NASA merch in general, like H and M. In England, in England as well, like. Yeah, we have had it from H and M yeah. in uh, Texas, though, didn't we? When we had, no, that was yeah. Forever Twenty One. Was that Forever Twenty One? Yeah, with them hoodies. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say in like H and M Forever Twenty One, they tend to do a lot of like NASA merch. I like this because it's got like, it's exclusive to like the Kennedy yeah, Space Center. Yeah, some of it says Kennedy Space yeah. Center on them, yeah. Yeah, oh, that was it, because we, when we were in Forever 21, looking at muddies, we actually bumped into a guy who worked at Houston. Yeah, he saw us looking at Oops, the... Sorry, um, <laughs> <I'm not teaching. laughs> He saw us looking at the NASA clothing and he was like, uh, oh, I work there. Like, he was like, it's a lot cheaper here. I'm like, oh, cool. We didn't know what to say. He was like, oh, right. <laughs> oh, just outside the gift shop. I always like the Lego ones. They've got a Mars rover made out of Lego. Oh, that's tough. Okay. Absolutely ages me. How many species are I know, does it say? Uh, oh, oh, 90,000 Lego 90, elements. Oh, there you go, 650 man hours to construct. Wow. wow. Just outside, there was quite a big queue uh, for people taking a photo in front of them, like one of the meatballs. But just a tip, don't queue with that one, because that one's like a, a metal one and it's not a it doesn't look as good as this one. There's nobody here at all for this one. Come inside and get a better picture with this one. That one's made out of like a uh, squarey jagged metal with the little holes in, whereas this is a perfect one. So come inside and get your picture with that one instead. I'm already worrying, like thinking, like, oh my god, there's so much to do here, and like, are we going to have enough time? I know, because you, you're looking on the map. This bus tour is going to take an hour and a half, did you say? 90 yeah, minutes? Things are like 40 minutes, like in the theatres. I'm like, yeah, I know. I think it's going to be like, you get here at night and you're going to be here till five. Hopefully, yeah. it's like a, like there's a theme park, and if you're in the queue for something, <laughs> they'll let yeah. you on. They'll be throwing us out at five o'clock. Come on now, go. I'm so excited. Hi, I'm Emily Calandrelli and I'm excited to go behind the gates at Kennedy Space Center and experience the incredible achievements of NASA. I'm a free redstone and take us from the Apollo and space shuttle programs. There are eight set of tracks 
Each track has 57 cleats. Each cleat weighs one ton. That is where SpaceX's launch is from. So we've just got off the first buzz. We couldn't really talk on it, but you drove past the VAB, the Vehicle Assembly Building, which was massive. But we're just going into the Apollo NASA. I think then she says you get on another buzz. Yes. So, but we did see launch pad 39 at 8 in the distance. Yeah, you so could just make cool. it out. Space dogs. I'm John Hudson. This is pad 39 of the Kennedy Space Center. I was a launch controller here when from this very spot, man took off to fly to the moon. I choose this as our goal. And they may well ask, why climb the highest mountain? Why, 35 years ago, fly the Atlantic? Why does Rice play Texas? We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing. Not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Jeez. Look at the size of that. Oh my goodness, it that is massive. It is huge. That's the capsule. I'm guessing that would have been stage three. Yeah. Wow. You've got to have something about you for sit on top of that and think like right I'm going in space because they were saying in there there was like two million system checks and stuff like that that has to be done that's a lot of things that can go wrong, go wrong. Very brave. Yeah. there's so much to see and do just in this one like hangar is this a hangar that yeah. a room or a hangar alone this all all like little interactive things to over there oh there's a, a moon rock cafe i like hearing about the space race like the fight between the americans and the russians <laughs> yeah like, it's really interesting the first ones on the moon yeah it is interesting oh i really like this old astro van what they used to take the astronauts to launch pads to it's so cool So they actually used this Astro van in the 2018 film First Man about Neil Armstrong. Oh, so they actually used this in the movie. That's so cool. It's just like a funky old van. It's like literally nothing in it but some seats and maybe a bit of air conditioning. So he is a replica of the lunar module, what they actually landed in, like Neil Armstrong went in. I mean, I didn't. You don't know what to expect when you just see it on the tally. I don't know if it's bigger or smaller than I was expecting it to be. Bigger. Do you think it's big? I don't know. Yeah. You, you can't picture it, can you? Like, I mean, well, there's Stacy, and like that's just the top of it there. I don't know. You've got to think there's like it's got fit men in it and everything. I don't know. I, I think it's smaller than I was expecting it to be. But then you've got to think, well, they've got to get it into space. Yeah. It's got to be like, you, you just can't, you can't like grasp. I am not smart enough to grasp like <laughs> all this science. It's just amazing. Yeah. So if you've watched our previous videos, which you should have, if not, go back and watch them. Uh, we love a souvenir mug. So this was only $7. We got it from the Moon Rock Cafe. But I mean, the lady behind the counter said you get all day refills. So for seven dollars, it's a nice little mug or cup. It's got an astronaut on and like a moon. Oh, is that the Artemis? I'm guessing that's what the Artemis is going to look like. Yeah, worth it for seven dollars. We'll drink plenty today. Wow. Oh, so this that's is the tiny. yeah. This is the command module. Uh, it's got. No seats in, has it, at the moment? And look how tiny it looks now, and then imagine when the seats are in, how small and crap So, what did this fit? Three men in? Jeez. You'd be begging, begging somebody not to do a fart in there. <laughs>
Can't tell you can crack a window open. No. So here's Gene Kernan's moon training suit. What he uh, trained to go up in. There's his helmet. And we've also got his like little moon booties that slip over the top. I like how he said that, yeah, they leave them outside so they don't bring any moon dust aboard the spacecraft. Yeah. <laughs> Always thinking about, you you know, getting dirt and dust up there. Oh, and here's the lunar rover. Oh, look, how oh, the tyres are like hollow. They're made out of metal mesh. Oh, wow. Oh, so you, you can actually touch a real piece of the moon. We've already done this at the Space Centre in England, but we're going to be greedy and do it again. Ooh. Does he feel moonish? No. <laughs> is it made of cheese? No. If it is, it's very hard. I wouldn't like to eat it, it's probably brick too. Oh, so it tells you there that when it was uh, collected. Oh, by Jack Schmidt. Neither. Apollo 17 lunar module landing site. It weighs 17 grams. So we're just getting ready now going to watch the Lunar Theatre. It's uh, just a little movie about the Apollo 11 mission and landing on the moon. So this is a tribute for the three astronauts that sadly lost their lives in the Apollo 1 mission, try and get to the moon. So we're just going to have a look round here. That's the three of them there. So this is a piece of the actual hatch from the Apollo 1 capsule that obviously it didn't destroy, did it in the explosion? Yeah. So this is Heroes War. This is the actual service arm that Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin and Mike Collins, I always forget, I'm sorry Mike Collins, this is the actual arm they walked to the shuttle to, 30 stories high it was. So this is like actually been touched by it's people who've been in space. Probably like held on to these rails as he's come down, yeah, wow. Yeah. 
team for all mankind. So here's the Apollo 14 capsule that they landed back to Earth on. You see it there. But if, if you look closely, like you can see scorch marks from the heat. There's like a, some bubbling there on the outer window. You can just make out on the inside all the seats and the controls. There's an arm here, like a, a joystick. I'm not sure what that's for. And then you've got the three seats. All the controls just above. We'll just make them out there. So inside, you can't actually touch these ones, but there is more samples of uh, Lunar Rock. And it tells you which uh, Apollo mission that brought them back. Apollo 15. This one was Apollo 15. Yeah. There's another one over there. So this one was from Apollo 17. This was the last man mission to the moon. So I thought this was kind of cool. This is a spacesuit maintenance kit. So think of it as a puncture repair kit for your spacesuit. It's got seal replacements. It's got cloth tape. It's got little gaskets there. But who? Defogging pads. Defogging pads. <laughs> but who would have like the patience and the calmness to think, right, I'm in space. I've got an old. I'm not going to panic and I'm going to repair it really quickly. It's not like sewing a button on no. like your shirt. <laughs> So the lunar samples we've just shown you, so this is what they collect them in once they've found one. So that's quite cool there, you wouldn't... It's quite big actually, isn't yeah, it, what each, they actually put it in. Each one's like got a numbered bag and you can see all the little tabs at the top. So this is Alan Shepard's Apollo 14 moon suit. It's the one he actually went up in. And if you can see all that green powder, around the legs. That is actually moon dust. Building for alligators that wander on the launch pads. And thank you so much for teaching us all about the wild. So we're back at the main visitor center now. We've just got dropped off the buzz and straight away you dropped off by Spatial Atlantis. So we're gonna head in here now. I think, is this one about an hour or an hour and a half, it says as well? Yeah, but there's also a simulator in there we get to go on, so... Oh, has this got the simulator in? Yeah, the lady, ah. that, drove, that, was, uh, the lady that drove the bus said this, the simulator was the best part, so we don't want to mess up. No, but look at the size of that. Ah. Everything here is too big. And it's got a grip on us. Ah, oh, yeah, it is. So we've just watched a presentation, what we couldn't yeah. show. It's like a five minute, it's not 3D, it was like a 180 like kind of. Like screens all around you. Yeah, kind of yeah, and it was yeah. just showing you about building the shuttles uh, and you know, the design that went into and the process and stuff. And, and, then, the, and then the screen dropped in front and, and then it showed you the Atlantis. Wow. And wow, I was- you just got like tingles. Yeah. It's just, bumps. I wasn't was, expecting it when the screen dropped in front. It was just like, like, oh. Look at that. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. I'm still getting, still getting like tingles now. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. Watching the footage of it just like, you know, in space and the launch and stuff. And, and like I said, for the screen to then drop and it's there. Yeah. It's like, wow. But should we go get a closer loop? Yeah, yeah, let's, a few people go. And yeah. then we'll go and show you a bit more. It's just like, so amazing to think that this has been into space and it's come back and it's been 33 missions yeah it's and it's got the canada arm on top as well sticking out and it's just like they use this to build the space station and is that, is that what they said 33 missions yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's just said 33 missions yeah but i mean it, it's it's just so immense like that so like, i just can't speak <laughs> like this Built, helped to build the space station. And like, look at all the empty space. And like, I'm guessing they lived 
maybe underneath they slap the stuff. stuff. Been taken out of there. I guess you might. Yeah, but they use that as a cargo bay, yeah. don't they, to take stuff up? Wow, wow, and wow! Just look at it. Do you think it's a lot bigger in person than you think it looks when you've seen it on like screen and no, I'm thinking same TV as the, and we said earlier with the lunar. Are you gonna say smaller? I'm thinking think it's, it's a bit bigger. smaller, do you? Yeah. When you think they're like they had to live in this as well. Like I know they don't have much space. No. Well I don't know. When you think this is taken. But they'd they all be in this for like a few days, wouldn't they? Yeah, oh yeah, they'd be in it for a few days, yeah, but like, you know, this arm's all got fitted. Yeah. They had to put crew and supplies. So when, we, when we went to the Space Centre in Houston, we actually saw the aircraft that could uh, transport it. Yes, yeah, we, we saw, saw the plane, we? Yeah, yeah, we went on the plane there that actually transports this about. So this is the model that first, um, I guess the lead engineer gave his team of engineers. And that's what he says there that he tossed at them to use as the first idea for the shuttle. It's not too far off, really. <laughs> if you turn that bit upside down. Yeah, it's kind you of know, close, isn't it? So the top of the nose is at the bottom like Atlantis. Could you imagine though, I've, I've got this idea and that just gets thrown at you. Like, right, okay. So that's, that tiny little hatch there is where the crew actually got in. So it's not just like, a rescue emergency hatch that's what they actually went in you think there'd be like a door at the back when but obviously there isn't going to be is there because it's got to be sealed and stuff like a normal airplane yeah like, did they greet you up the stairs or like no you actually get in there can you imagine you get drinks? a normal airplane through that hatch like, there yeah <laughs> come aboard i mean like where, where's the hostess with the drinks trolley you, you don't you don't think about things until you actually see them look at the wings yeah I mean, for people of, because we're mid thirties, so yeah. pe for people of us, our age, this is what you think about kind of thing when you think of NASA, you picture yeah. these shuttles. Obviously, all the people think of the Apollo missions and stuff, but for us, this is like what we picture. This bit of like, you'd probably learn about space. And yeah, like, but you just can't, like they were saying, this is silica tiles. You, you just can't think, well, what's that? And how interesting that the much younger generation are going to start off mainly hearing about like the SpaceX. Yeah, 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 exactly. There. So, so in 20 in, years' time, yeah. it's going to be like, oh, SpaceX. So this is one of the engines and the nozzles yeah. of the space station. So at this big bit here is the power, and then this bit is where the flame comes out of. I mean, where do we even start? I was going to say, like, the astronauts obviously are really brave and amazing to get all the credit, but you don't think about no. the engineers, do you? There's the, so the many. The scenes that are, like, doing all that. Yeah, there's fa hundreds of yeah. thousands of people just, you know, data analysts and all stuff like that. You just don't hear about, but, but you couldn't do it without them. It's crazy when you look at how the shuttle actually used to dock on the International Space Station. So it's just, can you imagine getting on a plane at the airport and you walk down that tunnel and that's how your plane was. Crazy. So this is a 1 15th scale replica of the shuttle and its booster rockets and fuel tanks. And here's a little model of how they docked the shuttles onto the top of one of the aeroplanes to transport it back to uh, Florida. So these are actual tires that went into space on the STS-135. You can actually see like, look, where the tread's coming from, where it's worn. But no, it's interesting fact that he says, so the space shuttle landing gear cannot be retracted by the crew on board. The ground crew have to do it. Oh, so, right. Yeah. Oh, you wouldn't think that, I would you? I why they didn't give them the option of I suppose they've got so many things to do as well, aren't they? Yeah. But, yeah, you know, like that one's, look at all. Yeah, Mitchell. Yeah, the Mitchell. And they are so thick and they just feel solid. But he says they were filled with nitrogen. And there, if you're interested, there's the entire size. 
all that wear that you've just seen just set up here that the, the rear ones were only used once and the nose ones were used twice so yeah That's all that yeah because all the weight and the impact on the rear so yeah all the the tread on there was taken off of one landing so this is the astro van the second one that we've seen that they used to take the uh, astronauts for training and launches to the pads for 27 years since the ninth Space shuttle launch, it's a lot different than the other one. I quite like this one as well. So it's saying before they got on the bus, they always had steak and eggs for lunch and that they always played a game of cards, it's like tradition. Oh, steak and eggs. You wouldn't think that'd be a very healthy space uh, diet, steak and eggs, because it's protein. Right, okay, so we've just done the shuttle launch experience, the simulator, yeah. and I've discovered two things. A, I couldn't be, well, I couldn't be an astronaut because A, I'm not clever enough anyway, but B, I just felt sick of that. That was worse than the rides at Universal Simulators. I feel completely sick, and that's probably a smidge of what they say it's like an experience. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A smidge of like a shuttle launch. No, experience. so you, you, you get tilted back, it says 90 <laughs> degrees, it's not, and it's it, maybe like 30, 40 degrees. Yeah, yeah. It's like, think of it as the most vicious massage chair you've ever been yeah, on. Yeah, it's like fucking like, bad. Uh, 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 I could feel like it filled oh. you. I'm glad I didn't have like anything to eat before we went on. Oh it's yeah, nice. don't have nothing to eat. It's not me quite sick, so there's my dream of becoming an astronaut. Ruined. Right, so we've just grabbed an ice cream each. I can confirm it's not astronaut ice cream. Yeah, but gutted about that really. But, well, ice cream's ice cream. It's got M&M's on. Mine's got Oreos on. And now it looks like we're going to actually eat it on Mars. Around like amazement. Where's your helmet? Oh, oh yeah, you will be wearing. Doubt I've got movement either. Ice creams are polished off. We were on Mars, we're now going on a journey to Mars. We're going to Mars. Now imagine standing on the red planet, millions and millions of miles away from the Earth, looking up into the sky to see a tiny blue speck where you were born. You see, the trip to Mars is long and dangerous, so we're not going to make it in one giant leap. We have to start with smaller steps first. Now meanwhile, the moon will act as a perfect dress rehearsal for Mars. They both have far less gravity than the Earth, and they're both freezing. And even with our more powerful new rockets, you can't take everything, you live off the land. Back to basics, learning to grow food, make water, or build shelters. To be fair, there's still a few places that might go on Earth first before we move on to Mars. I haven't even been away yet, have we? I feel like the VIPs or something, because we're the only ones in doing it. Rendezvous, docking, and operating combined spacecraft was a key element of the Apollo strategy. So we've just watched the Heroes and Legends uh, like video cinema experience. Yeah, it was, it was absolutely amazing. So it was just talking about like the astronauts and kind what, of like what their heroes, what inspired them, them yeah. to be astronauts. Yeah. But if you do watch it, 
wear a jumper because I'm freezing because they like when they blast off they put uh, like wind fan machines on it's so cold yeah it was really cold and I've I have only got a shorts and t-shirt on so it was a bit cold oh so <laughs> it's about 350 and we've just we've missed the last showing at the universe theater they have different uh, things on a couple times a day there's just so much to see isn't there and so much to do yeah i mean there's still bits we haven't done this kind of similar to what we've said in other videos about other parks is getting a kind of almost two-day experience because especially if you want to do you know there's astronaut training experience i know that's an extra plus plus i'm the type that stands at everything and like has to read everything yes. and has to like look so if you like that too you're gonna need more than one day and then also at the back just here there's is it planet play i think it was like a two to twelve year old play yeah. experience obviously we aren't that young but i passed 12. you passed 12. yeah it's, you know Right, so we're all done. We just hit the gift shop before we came a couple of hundred dollars later. Yeah, she's uh, maxed out the cards, I think. It, it's not all junk, though. There is some, like, clothing in there, so obviously we'll wear clothing. And then there's a couple of nice bits from the house. We didn't just buy any old tat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but yeah, you don't want to hear about that. Um, but, yeah, absolutely amazing day. I just, I just like, interested in all the things, like yeah, space yeah, and exploring cool. beyond Earth, the universe. Like, I just think it's, like, really interesting. So, for me, it's been thing off the bucket list to say that we've been so yeah, we've been both it's now it's been amazing yeah we have been the been one in texas and been yeah. the one here so yeah can't be bad I, but yeah i would have liked to maybe seen like launch pad 39a a little bit closer it was quite far away and it was obstructed by like trees and bushes and on the way back when we got in the bus <laughs> after it was a bit rainy and foggy so you couldn't yeah. even see because of the clothes so you are quite a distance away from that which obviously i understand you, they're not going to let you get right up close to it but i was maybe expecting like I think you have to pay probably a lot more money for that. I don't know whether you can get closer to it, yeah, but just an amazing day. I love these, you love these. Yeah, yeah, it was really good, yeah. yeah. Worth definitely coming, worth the hour's drive. Oh, and if you take the toll road, it saves you half an hour, and it costs like five and a half dollars if you pay cash. Yeah. Because we took the toll road this morning, which we're we not, don't normally We're not do. taking it on the way back home. No, no, we're saving <laughs> that five and a half dollars. We spent that in the gift shop, yeah. yeah I just, it was just amazing, yeah, as you can tell from the video. Yeah, it was a really good day. But thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. Like I say, subscribe like it comment on all that jive <laughs> whatever else you have to do and follow we'll, us on insta yeah of course yeah follow us on insta and we'll see you in the next video thanks bye bye